Well, it's tulip time at the Wooden Shoe Tulip Farm, and I'm with Barb. And Barb, you know, it's not been a good year, but the flowers look beautiful. Oh, the flowers are gorgeous. You know, that you, like you say, it's it's been cold, it's been windy, it's been wet, but oh, tulips awesome. like it that way. Oh. They're not too wet, but, you know, it, the coolness. You know, if you remember last year, it was so warm, so yes. hot. Tulips don't like that. We had a small bulb crop. Uh, we had to bring in a few new varieties from Holland. So <laughs> this year, the color's spectacular. Ah, so really, the season's going to be longer because of the cool weather. It will, it will. We peaked at the end of... Um, March last year. Oh, this year we're saying Easter is going to be peak, but I'm looking at the field as cold as it is, it's going to be beyond. We're going to have great color through the end of the month. Uh, so really come out for Easter with your family. So that'd be something different because you'll really hit it well. Oh, we'll hit it well. We've got an Easter egg hunt on oh. Saturday and it's it's staggered. So just come out with your kids, get a little money and have some fun. Oh. And then we have an Easter sunrise service on oh, Sunday. Beautiful, beautiful. And I noticed that the fields are kind of split this year. So that's something different. Well, it is. We This is kind of a small field, this footprint in the middle. So when we were in this field last year, it got a little crowded so we decided to plant two fields this year so we've got this field and what we call our north field and it's it spreads people out so you know there it might seem like there's a lot of people here but but there's still areas you can get out and, and just enjoy the openness oh that is nice because you want to enjoy that whole experience you want to come out take pictures and just walk and just enjoy the day right right so besides the Easter weekend, what else can people come out to do? Oh, there's there's everyday things that, that go on. There's a kids area where there's bounce houses and mm. pony rides, things like that. We've got little cow carts where you just grab one of those cow oh. carts and, and you'll find them randomly throughout the field and, and take your kid for a ride through the field. We've got our own cow train um, uh, rides where you know you go out through the mud this year you get a little muddy so <laughs> prepare for that it's a bumpy ride William and I did that one time it was so much fun we got to sit in it we had a blast <laughs> oh that's good that's good we also have there's a lot of food out here too mm. so if you haven't had lunch there's great sausage we work with Mount Angel Sausage and they have some stellar sausages and then we have Mexican food as well um, wine we have ah, our own vineyard yes. now oh, so wow. yeah so we've got several varieties of wine um, that are in our wine bar and I know we're going to go over to the wine bar in just a minute and go talk to Laura because that is a really cool place too. But there's other beverages too. There's sodas and things like that for everybody. Oh, absolutely. Barb, we really just touched on a few of the activities that go on here all week and all weekend. So where can we go for more information? Well, if you go on our website, we have a list of all the activities that go on out here as well as pictures of what the field looks like. We've got a field report that we update daily and you can go there and see if it's a good time to come out. And what's that website again? Uh, Woodenshoe.com. Uh, and you talked about wine, so we have to go in and see the newly remodeled wine bar so let's go see Laura. That sounds good. Great. For another part of this experience is coming to the wine bar and I'm with Laura and Laura this is great you've really expanded this area. Yeah we've been slowly building it out we've kind of moved it around a little bit we have a longer bar and we've included more things this year. It's really people. nice. Oh thank you. And tell us a little bit because you guys not only grow tulips and other crops but you grow wine grapes too. Yes we do we have about eight acres of wine grapes and so all of our wines are you know we grow the grapes ourselves. And you have some different varieties that you do. You don't hear about that all, all the time. Yes, we're, we're real proud of our wines. We grow an Albarino grape, which is a Spanish white. It's light, refreshing. We have a heavier red called Marichal Foch, which is, um, you know, just on the heavier side, great winter wine. Uh. And uh, from the Marichal Foch, we have created a port style wine now. Wow. And so it's aged in barrel for three years. It aged in oak for three years. And we're releasing that this year. That is nice because you have something for everyone then because mm -hmm, if yeah. you're a, really a, a red drinker or you like those lighter ones so it's like the whole gamut. Yes and a Moscato. We have a sparkling Moscato that's very popular. We usually sell out of that one during the festival too. And I know that you know friends of ours from Feckin Brewery and you yes. also carry one of their beers. We are very proud of our uh, the Feckin wine that we sell here. The great great family brewery that um, we now carry several of their beers. We've expanded our bar here to have to have beer on tap too. Yeah. So. And I also like it that you're out in the fields enjoying the, the tulips, but then you can come in here, relax, it's undercover, there's a little bit of heat. You can get warm, <laughs> you can come in here and have a glass of wine and, and kind of have, we have a view from here of the vineyard and the tulips where you can stand and have a glass of wine and, and, and um, some, you know, gift shop items to explore. Yeah, it's really, there's something for everyone when you come. So really go to the website and check out the Bloom Time and all of the other activities that are um, happening every day of the week, even the weekends and you can come out, have a glass of wine, go see the tulips, and then just enjoy yourself. Absolutely. We'll have a great week. Yeah, thank you so much.